Hi, I'm Jeff Rainey from todayinart.com. I'm going to walk through the application brushes for the iPad. Here's the gallery. This is a cool feature here. You can go to a drawing, hit this play button, and it redraws your drawing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add a new canvas and give it a title. I'm just going just going to call this one sketch. Okay, now that I have my new drawing, let's go ahead and select a color. Changing colors is done here. If I find a color I like, I can add it to my palette. Let's make sure I've got a good brush selected for drawing. I can also undo and redo with these buttons here. Um, I'll redo those. And if I want to add a new layer, I can do that. And this time, let's go with the more interesting brush here. So now we have a couple layers down. And maybe I would like to incorporate a photo. I can just go to my photos. I'll move the photo around where I want it. Uh, maybe here. And then click accept or tap accept. Okay, right now my photo is on top of my drawing. So I'm going to grab my photo and. If I want my top layer there to be lighter, I can do that just by changing the alpha settings. The eraser works the same way as the brush does. And if I want to choose a color from the canvas that I already have here, I can do that. And the outside ring is the color that I'm selecting. Once we're finished, we can go to the gallery and it'll save our drawing for us. And you can choose to add it to your iPhotos, email it, uh, or send it to Flickr. That's brushes for the iPad. And I'm very impressed with it, very easy to use. Feels way more like a sketchbook than the iPad or the or I'm sorry, iPod or iPhone versions did, just because you have more canvas here, more screen real estate. Anyway, I'm Jeff Rainey from todayinart.com, and thanks for watching.